Yeah, it does. I mean, we'd always dress like this on, on like the mass days. And uh, I don't know, just it, seeing all the kids and how young they are, it does bring you back. And um, I would have never remember, I don't never remember myself being, you know, that small or at that time in my life at sixth grade, seventh grade. But I was here. I walked the same hallways as these guys. Um, and it's uh, it's so fun coming back and seeing the kids, seeing how passionate they are. And I think the All-Star game itself and just hockey in general in the city is starting to grow. And to see the passion of all these kids, um, just, you know, took some pictures and hung out with the, the middle schoolers. It's, uh, it's crazy the passion they have. At this age, besides your father, who are you looking to be the next? Well, I mean, I think that's the easiest one because he was around... Uh all the time but I think that we had guys like David Backus who were living at the house and some of the young superstars in the blues guys like my age now like I remember seeing Oshie and I was like I want to be him um you know seeing David Perron wanting to be him seeing Petro wanting to be him and uh you know all these guys kind of paved the way f for me to realize um that I can make it and growing up and coming to a school like Chaminade you had the Stasnys who played um Paul was playing Colorado at the time so watching his games, watching Bish, um, Bishop play. You see the guys that also walked these hallways before me that are playing the NHL, kind of giving me, um, you know, letting me know that I can also make the NHL as well. Besides, um, who did you want to be more like, though? Those guys or your dad? Well, I think my dad was towards the end of his career, so, I mean... You didn't see he, great? I didn't see the 50-goal score that everyone tells me about, but... Uh, no, I, I just taught, he was my coach too at the time. So he was playing, he was also coaching. So you never really want to, I mean, I didn't look at my dad as that type of guy. I looked at like Oshi and, and Prawn and Petrangelo and these guys were the young stars at the time, um, taking the league by storm at early in their early 20s. And that's what I wanted to be. I told everybody um, since I've been young, I wanted to play in the NHL as early as possible. And, and I made it right after I was drafted, which I was fortunate to do. But um, it would have never happened without guys that have paved the way before me. So you're getting kicked out of your own house now? I am, yeah. I've got grandparents coming in, and my brother's coming back in town. And uh, it's just, I, I'd rather have it that way, though. There means so many people are coming in town. And, and um, yeah, so I'm staying at the hotel once All-Star Weekend starts. And um, we've got a whole whole crew here for the weekend. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday will be really fun. So you knew the game was going to be here for a long time. Take us through the moment when you found out you were going to be playing in St. Louis for the All-Star Game. So I think it was around this time last year it came out that St. Louis was going to host this one. And I remember talking to my parents. I'm just like, how cool would it be to have a great start and be fortunate enough to make the game? And throughout the first half of the year, I don't think about that. You know, you never, you're never thinking about making the All-Star Game. You never want to have that in the back of your head. All you want to do is go out and win for your team. But when I got the call, well, my GM told me right after our game in Edmonton on the – 27th right after Christmas. I, I didn't know you were finding out. I thought that was early. I thought we were finding out early January. So he told me right when I got on the bus and uh, I texted my parents right away. I texted the rest of my family and just not the sigh of relief, but just like the, the how cool, like how cool a moment is this going to be for me to be in my hometown for the skills and the all-star game. I mean, whether it's old people that I played hockey with, whether it's classmates, whether it's teachers, whether it's just friends that we had, whether it's neighbors, everyone gets to see me in my hometown at my early age playing um, the premier event in the NHL, and I think that's so cool. And for me to be able to celebrate with so many people, people coming in town, whether it's family, friends from other cities, everyone's coming to St. Louis because this is the big weekend and this is the, uh, the weekend that everyone's had circled on their calendars for a while. So I'm fortunate enough to be a part of it and to be surrounded by all these great NHL stars. Um, it's going to be, and I know St. Louis puts on such a great show, whether it's, you know, been, um, you know, my dad always talks about the Winter Classic that they put on, how great a few days that was. And I was a part of, um, I was here during the Stanley Cup playoffs last year and just to see the city kind of thrive around um, hockey. So I can't wait to see, you know, starting with the, you know, the red carpet and stuff, the media day tomorrow and the red carpet Friday skills and then the game, it's going to be a blast. So who buys the box that will put 20 in there, you or your dad? <laughs> well, Are you on scholarships it's not, I am absolutely not. I wish, but uh, um, this one was me. Um, it's kind of my way of wanting everyone to be in one place and be able to watch me during the skills and, uh, and, the, uh, and the game. And um, I didn't want to make my parents do that. This is my, my weekend, so I want them to enjoy everything. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think about putting on a Blue Note jersey one day? Uh, it's, it's too early for me to, to say that. I mean, that was a team I grew up rooting for, and that was my team growing up up until I got drafted. Honestly, when I was at the U.S. team, when I was at London, the Blues are who I cheered for, and I was 16, 17 years old at that time. So that's all I knew growing up. I had favorite players on other teams. I love Patrick Kane. I love Sidney Crosby, but the Blues are my team. 
Um, and so when I got drafted, that changed immediately. Now Calgary's my team, and and um, you know as long uh, you know as I'm in Calgary, I'm going to do everything I can to help the Flames win the Stanley Cup. Okay, so let's put yourself in the role of an NHL scout, and you're observing a 22-year-old Keith Kachuk, 22-year-old Matthew Kachuk, and a 22-year-old Brady Kachuk. Oof. Who do you take of those three? Oh man, that's tough. Um, I'd say because I know what my dad did and what he was going to do and how, you know, you can't ever pass about a 500 goal score. So I'd say it's him. And then, I don't know, maybe a toss up between me and Brady right now. Brady's going to be a, he's going to be a stud when he's 22. And I've obviously got to bet on myself. So um, be a little bit of a toss up, but knowing my dad scored 500 goals, you can't pass that up. What do you think you do better than your dad? Well, I think that um, the way the game's kind of gone recently, it's a skill game, it's an offensive game. When he played, it was a big bruising power forward type of game, and he was the epitome of that. And so I think with me, um, maybe I'd stick handle better and have uh, maybe more of an offensive mind when it comes to making plays and um, kind of dangle with the puck a little bit. And um, I like to have the puck in my stick a lot, and he was a big power forward, and he stood in front and had all those greasy goals. So uh, I'd say maybe just a little bit more finesse, maybe. Frank, I got to steal him. That's one good. One more, you, 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 I, I was going to give one, one final thought. What has Chaminade meant to you? Well, it's a place that I drive by every time I'm back here, and it's a place where every time I drive by, I think back to you know, four of the best years of my life. Um, I still have so many close friends from here, and this is kind of the place that jump-started my life, really. It, it helped, become, helped me become a man. It helped mature me, and I have so many people that I'm thankful for that are a part of Chaminade and that um, I've met and were classmates with or teachers or whatever, and I just can't thank them enough for helping me mature and become a man.